When I think about my upper limit when it comes to how much I spend on certain clothing pieces, it's not too far off. If I sort of cut back on a few meals, like eating out, which obviously no one's doing at the moment, it's... my youtube channel if you're a newbie then hello welcome my name is raquel and if you're a subby thank you for returning i really appreciate your support today i've got a slightly different haul for you guys if you've watched my channel regularly you know that the upper limit to how much i'll spend on a dress um it is usually around the 60 sort of 70 pounds mark because you guys know that i absolutely love a bargain but recently you have heard me saying that i want to invest a little bit more on timeless pieces of a better quality that are gonna last me year in year out so i thought i would do a rat and boa try on and review for you guys just to see exactly where the money goes, is it worth it? Because some of these dresses are really, really expensive. Now, if you guys wanna skip straight to the dress part, make sure you subscribe. If you are subscribed, make sure you turn on the bell. I'm trying to hit 20K, so if you guys could help me, I would greatly appreciate it. But anyway, if you wanna skip to that part, I'll timestamp this video. But if you're a little bit like me, you're inquisitive, you wanna know exactly where that money goes and is it worth it and you want to hear a little bit more about my sort of review on the whole process like the online shop the sizing their instagram account etc etc then definitely keep on watching um <laughs> these dresses are expensive i'm not gonna lie so yeah if you aren't subscribed make sure you subscribe no long talking let's get straight into this video so first things first, I want to talk about the shopping experience, the online shop. Um, so Rat and Boa obviously have their own online shop, which is on their website, but they also sell on Matches Fashion. So I personally opted to pick up some of their pieces on Matches Fashion. Matches Fashion actually had 30% off when I went to order, um, which actually made the haul possible. Otherwise, I just would have been able to afford half of a dress, to be honest. Um, but they had 30% off. Now, one one thing that I will say about the Matches Fashion website is definitely luxe, it's definitely high end, it is home to a lot of high end and luxe, um, luxe brands and it shows the website is really really easy to navigate. Now I want to move on to the actual dresses and the sizing and the size guide. So for me personally I did feel like the sizing advice was quite good on the website um, so it would give you the measurements of the model and it would let you know what size the model was wearing but then I noticed it was also a little bit more in depth and it would say um, tight around the bust but loose like loose fitting on the legs and I thought that was really really helpful because for me like I'm definitely a little bit more heavier set on the bottom than I am on the top so it was helpful for me to know that okay, maybe I don't need to get like a medium in that one because it's loose on the legs and that's where I need it to be loose. So I would definitely say in terms of the sizing and the sizing advice, it's a little bit more in depth than click size guide, which just gives you bust measurements, this, that and the other, like that's just, yeah it was a little bit more informative than that, which we need to know. Um, and then lastly, when it comes to the ordering process or a couple of things lastly, shipping was really, really quick. I placed this order on Monday and I believe I had it by Wednesday or Thursday. I noticed that they shipped with DHL, which I think is a little bit more of a reliable, <laughs> I don't wanna name any names. <laughs> and I know it's a tough time at the moment, but um, I feel like DHL is a little bit more of a responsible, carrier if that makes sense i just feel like they perhaps are a little bit more trusted um, by some of the more higher end brands um, and then lastly when it comes to packaging i noticed that they also had an eco-friendly packaging um, option which is what i actually went for um so mine is just literally like a plain box which is really handy because obviously at the moment where I'm not at work, I'm accepting all of my packages to my home. And I live and work in London. It's different when I'm at work because there's ne like nearly always someone in my office, so it's fine. They're not just gonna leave a package on the doorstep, like we're always there. But when I'm working from home or when I'm based at home, I do worry because I do have many, many neighbors. And <laughs> yeah, I don't live in a nice, I don't live in a part of London where like, I don't know, it's just like, I would feel worried if, 
the packaging wasn't as inconspicuous and as discreet. So it's nice that they give you that eco-friendly option and it's nice that it's also discreet so it doesn't have like matches fashion emblazoned across it in case they have to leave it and you're not there. Anyway, I think that's all I wanted to mention on the whole shopping and sizing and reviewing process. It's a ramble but it is a bit more of a review so I wanted to be a bit more in depth and this stuff was expensive. Okay, so here's what the packaging looks like. It's really, really nice, really well presented, um, and of course, eco-friendly. It does have a little label on it to say who your order was carefully packed by, which I think is a really, really nice touch. Very well packaged, but finally, oh my gosh, this thing is so light. Finally, we are onto the try-on section, and, um, yeah, this is such one thin piece of material, boy. Um, let me whack this on and then I'll give you sizing and price and details. Okay, right. So this is dress number one. It is known as the Valentina Leopard Print Silk Chiffon Dress. Now you guys saw my first impression. When I took it out of the packet, I thought this is very like, because silk is such a delicate material, it just felt like one little dega dega piece of fabric and I was just a bit like, hmm. So I picked this up in a medium. Now I believe this is one of the more cheaper dresses out of the haul. And by cheaper, I mean 130 pounds. Now with my 30% discount, and if that discount's still live, I'll have all of the I'll have it all in the description box so that you guys can use it as well. Um, so with the 30% discount, that places this dress at 91 pounds, which when I think about my upper limit when it comes to how much I spend on certain clothing pieces, it's not too far off. If I sort of cut back on a few meals, like eating out, which obviously no one's doing at the moment, it's kind of within the realms of possible. Now, I wanna give you some more information about the exact material of this dress because it's not a 100% silk. Um, it, it, oh, it is. Wow, it is. So it's an 100% silk. Um, you have to hand wash it. It's lightweight. Now, one thing about this dress, and I actually picked up in a medium because, as I mentioned at the beginning, the sizing was so in-depth and so thorough that it does actually suggest slim fitting through the frame and over the thighs. So I didn't want to get it in a small. And it does say fabric has no stretch for a more comfortable fit, take one size larger. So I did, and I'm really grateful that I did. Now, in terms of how sheer this dress is, it's very, very, very sheer. So I've actually just got my little pasties on, so I don't think you guys can see much there. But when it comes to this whole region, I've just pop up, popped on a plain black um, pair of because I don't want to get demonetized and these bots be flagging up normal stuff these days. So yeah, I've just put plain underneath, just black. However, I do feel like at the back, it is very, very sheer. Like you can kind of see it. Now, I think this is something that is a bit more resort wear. Like when you're on holiday and you're going to dinner, it's the evening, you know, you've got your nice little glow on because you've been, you know, eating well throughout the day. You've been sitting on the beach, drinking your cocktails. I think this is a dress for that sort of evening because it's a little bit darker, no one's really looking that closely. And if you're a bit like me, when it comes to like how I dress and things like that, I really, like I'm not, I've, I have a lot of confidence in that area. Like I don't feel like, oh my God, that people are gonna be, I don't care about any of that. Um, so, <sighs> for 91 pounds, I think it's all right, girls, you know. I think it's all right. I'll come up close and show you the tie. So the straps are adjustable, and then there is this tie, which ties across here, which I think is good because if you want it to be a little bit more looser and a little bit more cow-like in the front, if you make that a little bit looser and the straps a little bit looser, then you'll get that. But if you just wanna make sure that everything's covered and it just doesn't like flop out, then you probably wanna do what I did and make them a little bit tighter. I would say, after I've popped this dress on, especially for me, someone that loves leopard print, I would say that I would get a lot of use out of a dress like this. By comparison, I really quickly wanna take out a misguided dress. Now, of course, it's not exactly the same, but the premise is the same. We have a long leopard print dress. I wore this, I haven't worn this in like a year. 
Um, I love this sort of shade of leopard print to be fair, or this print of leopard print. But by comparison, do you guys kind of, I mean, they're very different, but like I said, it's a long leopard print dress. So I feel like this one does look much nicer than this one. Um, I don't know. And it's floor length. I will have already shown you the cutaway. It's floor length. I'm five foot six and a half and it feels as though if I just wore a little heel of it, it would be perfect. The hem is kind of ruffled and fluted, which I think is just stunning. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I've also noticed that there is a seam. The seam that runs down the side of the dress kind of cuts in and curves, which has just given it such a nice finish on the bottom. It's just so lovely. Now, it would have been interesting to see how the small would have fit because I do feel like I've got quite a lot of movement in here, but you wouldn't want to spend that much money and have something clinging to you in an unflattering and uncomfortable way. So I think actually the medium is probably a nicer size for me, especially being that I can adjust it up here with these and these. So for dress number one, I'm going to say for the £91 with the 30% off voucher, I see it. Although my friend said that they did actually have randomly 50% off on their actual website the other day. So yeah, I'm probably gonna need to keep an eye out for that. I don't know if Matches Fashion have like a loyalty reward scheme or anything like that. If that's something that they do have, then again, that would be something that's worth sort of um, enrolling into. But yeah, this is dress number one. I'm gonna move straight on to dress number two. Okay, so here's what this next dress looks like on. This dress is known as the Camille Polka Dot Georgette dress. Now we're getting into, you know, crazy price territory. This dress is 250 pounds. So even with 30% off, that makes this dress 175 pounds. I actually grabbed this one in a UK small because again, the size guide was really informative and it did just say fits true to size um, with a loose flowing skirt, which is all I needed to hear, honey, to just stay with that small. Um, but yeah, 250 pounds. When I first put this on, Cameron wasn't rolling. I did think to myself, it's a nice dress. I like the way that it fits on the body just because some of these silk and sort of satin imitation dresses the way that they fall and they hang on your body can be quite unflattering if I'm going to be honest especially if you've got more in the hip thigh and bum area like it can just look a little bit just off so when I put this on and I sort of turned around and I had a look in the mirror I thought you know it's actually quite nice it is it does seem quite sorry that's the label it does seem quite fitted here. Now this one does have a little slip underneath, um, which has a split on it along one leg or yeah, one knee, one leg, whichever you want to call it. And then the only thing I don't think is really picking up well on camera is that basically, well, you can actually tell to be honest, um, there is a seam here. And so the polka dot fits or is sort of stitched differently at the bottom there. And that goes all the way around. And then the seam sort of comes up it comes down, sorry, rather to like here. So that kind of makes the polka dot print a little bit mismatched from the top, which actually some people would say is a little bit cheap looking. Um, for me personally, I actually, when I put this on, as I said, I really love the fit of this and I love the feel of it. I just have to be honest, like for 175 pounds, did I just drop something? My eyes are playing tricks because these bloody lashes. Um, for 175 pounds I just I don't know I don't know like I'm more leaning towards that leopard print dress so yeah I, I really mm, mm. 175 pounds and that's with 30% off so even if I got this at 50% off it's 125 pounds, which is still like mad high. Another thing to note as well, the straps on this are adjustable. So I noticed that on the model, she's wearing it with quite a low back. So if you wanted to wear it with a low back, you can just adjust the straps and it will sit a little bit lower. But um, I just wanted a little bit more of a tighter feel on the chest. So I just opted to tighten them. So yeah, in this case, I don't really feel like I personally could part with that much cash for this dress. For this dress, I don't really feel like it's worth it. Do I feel like it's a timeless piece? Yes. Would I maybe consider it a little bit more if I had a bigger discount than 30%? Definitely yes. Sizing is great. But yeah, I don't really feel like this one is worth 
this I'm not inclined to depart with that cash for this one. I'm going to move on to the second to last dress now. Oh, sorry, I was taking this off, but before I do move on, I will say this dress was very, very easy to get into. There's no zip or anything, but I literally just stepped into it and it was absolutely fine. There was no dislocating of shoulders to get in. There was no spreading of makeup, flying off of wigs, like everything was cool getting in. Let me move on. Okay, so one of these dresses I think was already like on a sale price. So maybe I didn't get 30% off. I can't remember, but I think, I know, I think I did. So this one is known as the Santiago Floral Print Ruffled Hem Chiffon Dress. £265 this one is. I did grab this one in a UK small, I believe. Yes, I did. So with the 30% off, that took this dress down to £185.50, and pence, which is just like... <laughs> Let's get into it, because you know what? I put it on and it's nice. I'll come up close and show you. It's got quite a low cut. So if you're all a little bit, mm, then you have to be aware of it because there is no way that you could adjust this dress to make it less cowly in the front. The detail or the party honey is in the back. Look at that lovely low back with the cross detail here. I mean, that is stunning and it does obviously for me cling a little bit here, but not too much. I think the small is actually probably a good size for me in this on this brand. I'd have to think about that leopard print dress though, but um yeah, this is actually, it's very expensive, but I can see where the craftsmanship lies with this particular dress, even more so than that polka dot one. Which one was most expensive out of the two? I forgot the price of the other. I mean, there's not much in it. There's like a tenner in it with these dresses. But as I mentioned, I feel like there's a little bit more attention to detail in this dress. So if I was possibly picking between the two, I'd probably in terms of thinking value for money, I'd probably go for this one. There's a little bit more of a frill. So there's a, basically like a double tier frill just above the knee. Um, and then there is also a little split as well as a nice, it's, it's not too much of a long train, but there is a little bit of a train on it. So you'd have to be careful. Like you would need to wear a nice heel and you'd be, you know, yeah, you'd have to be really careful not to step on the dress and rip the dress, if I'm honest. Um, or maybe that's just me being a clumsy person. I love this um, dark floral. Like I love flowers, bright flowers on a dark base when it comes to dresses like this. I feel like this is a really transitional dress as well because I think with the low back, it's something that you can wear in the summer, but then I feel like because it's mainly black, it would be a really nice autumnal piece. Biker boots, leather jacket, gone clear. So I like this. I just, I don't, I'm at a stage where I personally, I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could spend 185 pounds on it. Um, which does beg the question, why are you doing the haul? I'm doing this more of a, as a review, okay, you guys? I'm doing it more as a review, so don't come for me. I'm doing it more of a review. And another thing that I noticed is that, particularly on the Rat and Boa Instagram page and their website, they had a lot of models, obviously, modeling their clothes. And I feel like, usually when you go onto a brand's Instagram page, they repost people that tag them who are not models. And I just, when I tapped it into like YouTube, there weren't many Rat and Boa Haul. So I just wanted to just throw it up there just in case anyone's thinking about purchasing and they want to see it on someone who is not a model, i.e. me, because I'm definitely way shorter and wider than all the models that they've got on their Instagram page. So yeah, that's the reason why I kind of wanted to, you know, do this. And I, yeah, I just wanted to also satisfy my curiosities. Um, so yeah, I don't think I could part with that cash when it comes to this, but I'm going to move on to the last dress. I believe I've saved the best till last because when I went onto the website and I saw that dress, I said, I've got to have it. I said, I don't know, I don't care what the price is. I said, I've got to have that dress. Um, so let me try it on and then we'll talk. Okay, so here's my fourth and final dress on. This is known as the Fabienne Zebra Print Open Back Chiffon Slip Dress. I actually picked this up in a size small. So I think I've got everything in a small apart from the first dress, and I think I might have been able to get away with the first dress in a small, maybe, I don't really know. Um, actually no, I think that leopard print, because it's so sheer, it looks better looser, because if it's tight, it's just like, you can just see your whole crack, so probably not. So, um, 
yeah, this is the dress that I was ready to risk it all for, girls. I'm not going to lie to you. There's something about this really lovely, bright, vivid, abstract zebra print that is just like, okay, I get it. I, I understand that I would need to part with a bit more for that kind of sass. Um, £150, though. And that's at 30% off. So at full price... This little bad boy is £215. Um, do I think that this is a dress that I would literally wear every summer? Yes. Like, would I have like a little calendar on my phone to say like, can't wait to take out my summer clothes and getting Fabienne out? Yes. Like, this is 100% a dress that I would, I would love for that if I was ever, you know, any holidays I was going on, warm holidays, this dress, 100%, I would put it in my luggage. I would take it with me. I think 100 150 pounds, 150 pounds is steep, but I, I don't know, I really, really love this. I think the fit of it is stunning. Um, it has a little bit of a cowl neck, but it's not too low, I don't think. I don't feel like it shows off too much. There is a slip underneath this one, so although the, the top layer is very sheer, the slip obviously prevents you from being able to see everything. There's a lovely sort of train on it. It's not too long, it's not too much, but it's enough for a little extra sass, which we always love. The bottom of this, it's got like a, yeah, oh, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty stunning. Again, like most of their dresses, it's got this curved hem thing on it. So the seam on the side, on the left, kind of splits and then curves around the back and the front of the dress. I mean, I regret doing this review for you guys because I really want to keep this one now. Let me give you guys the composition. I believe most of their dresses are actually just 100% silk. Oh, sorry, excuse me. This is viscose and silk, this one. So 70% viscose, 30% silk. I guess because the lining, that's probably why. The lining is probably the viscose, right? Adjustable straps. Low back, self-tie, I mean... I'll show you guys again. You can just tie it there. I've done it kind of loose because I'm just the one man band at the minute, but I mean, <laughs> this is really bloody cute. I'm gonna have to think about this now because um, I love this dress and I just don't know whether I'd be able to get it. Oh. <sighs> mm, let me think about this one. <laughs> Okay, so safe to say, I had to pause then and just think about my life for a second, but safe to say, this is definitely my favorite dress of the haul. Do I think it's worth the 150? In a way, I'm kind of inclined to say yes. Um, but for me personally, where I'm at, I would probably need to wait the, yeah, I'd feel more comfortable waiting for that 50% off code. And like I said, my friend did tell me that recently they randomly did 50% off. So I'd be really gutted if I purchased this with only 30% off because an extra 20% is going to be like around 40 quid or something, which is a lot of money. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite out of the haul. And this is the last dress. So let me wrap this whole thing up so that completes my rat and boa haul tell me what you guys think about these prices let's get into the comment section let's have a little discussion as you guys know like i said at the beginning i don't like to i'm a little bit of a bargain hunter so i wouldn't necessarily you know my go-to wouldn't be wouldn't be to spend more than 60 or 70 quid on a dress but i'm kind of wanting to invest more in investment pieces that i can re Rewear, so I feel like I'm sort of slowly looking. I have one eye on that sort of side of things now. I'm sort of thinking about dipping my toe into that pond a little bit more now. Um, but of course, only where there are discount codes and things like that involved, because otherwise, I just um, I have to just sit that one out. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm really happy that I've got the opportunity to test these things out because, like I said, on their Instagram, on their website, they've got very sort of thin and tall model esque kind of girls and. Um, it's really difficult to kind of imagine how that is on the average girl. Like I'm just pretty average. So I, I would, yeah, it, it's nice that I've been able, yeah, like I wouldn't really be able to look at them on the models and say, oh, I know how that's going to fit on me because we're very different body types. So yeah. I hope someone found this review helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in any of these dresses, I will have them linked in the description box. Um, but yeah. 
I just wanted to I just wanted to do like a little bit of a review and a little bit of an experiment when it comes to to fashion really and just see I mean I do think when you shop luxury there are a couple of little things that make it more of a pleasurable shopping experience you know the packaging the you know information when it comes to the sizing like I, I do feel like when I was making this order there was like a, a more kind of luxe feel to the whole thing from the jump so um yeah that's my opinion on it a couple of the dresses I don't think are worth it this one and the leopard print one I think definitely probably worth it but that might be lending or pertaining to my personal style preference so that could be it so yeah I've rambled a, <laughs> I've rambled a lot in this video if you aren't subscribed please do subscribe as I said I'm trying to hit 20k if you can help me on my journey I'd greatly appreciate it um and I will see you guys very oh my Instagram Raquel.Sawall I'll pop it on the screen um but yeah thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you very very soon bye